welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today our little millennial hearts are so happy because today we're going to talk about Lindsay Lohan and Freaky Friday 2 is in the works. <laughs> so we stumbled upon an article, you know, which will discuss what Lindsay said and of course give you our opinions because we're millennials and we're so excited about this. <laughs> Okay, so this is a um, an article from HuffPost, and it says, Lindsay Lohan shares long-awaited Freaky Friday news. After years of hints, rumors, and anticipation, Lohan is giving millennial fans of the 2003 body swap comedy what they want. They say good things come to those who wait, and this week, that's true for Freaky Friday fans. Lindsay Lohan officially confirmed on Monday that the beloved 2003 body swap uh, comedy is finally getting a sequel. After years of anticipation, Lohan said on Sirius XM's Andy Cohen Live that she and Jamie Lee Curtis will return. It is true, she told host Andy Cohen. I don't want to say much, and we're both excited. Lohan caught herself and cheekily added, I'm going to speak for Jamie. The duo spoke with the New York Times last year to celebrate the film's 20th anniversary and teased fans with hopes for a sequel. As I went around the world with Halloween ends, people wanted to know if there was going to be another Freaky Friday, Curtis told the outlet. Something really touched a chord. I called my friends at Disney and said, it feels like there's a movie to be made. <laughs> what a flex. I called my friends at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Lohan added at the time that they'd only make something that people would absolutely adore. While she told people on Monday, the sequel is in the process. However, a date to start filming remains under wraps. The first film starred Lohan and Curtis as a mother-daughter duo who magically swapped bodies. But it wasn't an original. It was based on a 1972 Mary Rogers novel. It was first adapted in 1976 with Jodie Foster and Barbara Harris, and again in 1996 with Shelley Long and Gabby Hoffman. The 2003 iteration was the most commercially successful take, however, and grossed more than $160 million at the worldwide box office and spawned endless fan fever with every hint of a possible sequel, in the decades to come. Lohan, who was once deemed one of the most promising actors of her generation, but left the spotlight amid substance abuse struggles, told people that she's just excited to work with Jamie again and see how much further we can take the body swap premise. The actor's cinematic return is in full swing, however, with a three-film Netflix deal and surprise cameo in 2024's musical version of Mean Girls. The newfound mother might just find her, uh, her real comeback with Freaky Friday 2. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this, she told people. So this um, article from Health Post will be referenced in our description. So if you guys want to take a look at it and read it yourselves, you're welcome to do so. So what do we think? I am so excited that she's back. She looks good. She seems like she's in a better place. Yeah. And what better way to bring back the 99s, 2000s yeah. <laughs> with Lindsay Lohan? I need her to remake the following freaky friday uh another non-musical version of mean girls mm -hmm. can you imagine them older like at a high school reunion kind oh of thing gosh that'd be cool um, i need the parent trap <laughs> because then you know i have this whole scenario right each of them have twins right uh -huh. they send them to a camp and you know i still have to formulate the rest but you get you guys would get where i'm going right and I think she had another one. You know, she had like a whole bunch of Disney movies as well. Yeah, she did. So, but those are my top movies that I wish that she would remake. I don't know. And just bring in some Hilary Duff in there. And I don't know who else is. A oh, for sure. Like a cool child star. Give me somebody. Um, besides. Give me some Brenda oh, song. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, I think it'll be interesting. Um, I do know that for many years, Jamie Lee Curtis has, like, sung Lindsay Lohan's praises. She's always seemed to, like, genuinely care about her. Um, and I think that's awesome, especially because she was, Lindsay Lohan was like, y'all, y'all, I mean, you had to be there. But back in the early 2000s, Lindsay was that girl. She and was. She was in all of, like, the Disney movies that were popular. She was, like, in music videos. She was actually doing music herself. Mm -hmm. She was always, like, in some kind of headline. And then things started to go south, and that really sucked. And it's one of those things that, like, 
I kind of always wished that she would have a comeback. I just didn't know what that would look like. I mean, Mean Girls was definitely her biggest movie and the one that's most beloved, I would say, besides, of course, I'm trying. But I mean, like older Lindsay, not little Lindsay. Yeah. So, so I think that's something that, like, it, it'll be very interesting. And I'm happy that she's able to have, like, this resurgence. I love the Christmas movie, however cheesy it may be, that she made for Netflix, I think, last year, the year before. Falling like, for the Yeah. <laughs> it's um, kind of cheesy, almost cringy, but it was on the cute side. It was cute. I really loved it. So, anyway, I'm excited for her. Well, in the headlines recently, uh, she was at a red carpet for Irish Wish, which is another Netflix movie. So I found a a quick article here um, from Variety, and it says Netflix has released a trailer for the upcoming romantic comedy Irish Wish, starring Lindsay Lohan. The movie marks Lohan's second Netflix original from her 2022 movie, Falling for Christmas. Irish Wish is set to stream on the 15th. So today's the 7th. You know, they come out a little later, guys, you know, (laughs) record, but watch the movie anyway. So Netflix description of the film reads, when the love of her life gets engaged to her best friend, Maddie Lohan, puts her feelings aside to be the bridesmaid at the wedding in Ireland. Days before the pair is set to marry, Maddie makes a spontaneous wish for her true love, only to wake up as the bride to be. Why are they doing this to me? I'm already sucked in. <laughs> but her but her dream gets closer. But as her dream gets closer to coming true, Maddie realizes that her real soulmate is someone else entirely. Oh, interesting. First of all, you had me at Ireland. <laughs> I love I- Ireland. So I'm definitely excited for that. So this is really within, you know, the Lizzie Lohan realm of movies. Yeah, we're so into rom coms, even J Lo's. But you know, <laughs> we're excited. Or- <laughs> yeah, no, it should be it should be a really uh, fun movie, I think. And I'm excited for whenever it is that the sequel to Freaky Friday comes out. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you like Lindsay Lohan, Hillary Duff, Brenda Song? Did you watch the Disney originals on Friday every Friday? Every Friday. <laughs> Because those were the best. I know. You know, I'm yeah. actually going to start watching some because, you know, yeah. you sometimes need a little childhood in you to come alive. Yeah. But let us know if you'll be watching Freaky Friday too. Too. Yeah. <laughs> but that concludes today's video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our video. We're trying to grow our community so your friends could be our friends so we could all be friends. We also have social media, which Steele will tell you about. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out DNE. So make sure you guys like, follow, share, and comment. We enjoy interacting with y'all. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. This is two. Not this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.